This video will show you how to set up your Apple or Android mobile device to sell tickets. The Eventbrite Organizer app allows you to continue to make sales at your event even after it has started. Event organizers can process and manage sales, view live sales, and attendance data directly from the Organizer app. In order to make sales directly from the Eventbrite Organizer app, you must have either the owner or administrator role, which defaults to include all permissions, or a custom role in your organization that has permissions to sell tickets at the door. This is updated in the Team Management section of your organization settings. In order for a ticket to be available for sale in the Eventbrite Organizer app, the sales channel under the advanced settings must be set to at the door or everywhere, and it must be a visible ticket or have a promo code. All creators can collect funds at the door with cash, check, or invoice, while organizers collecting funds in US dollars, Canadian dollars, or British pound sterling can process card payments with the use of an external card reader. If you're located in the US, we have PayPal Here wireless payment hardware available. Download the Eventbrite Organizer app from the Apple App Store or the Android Play Store. Make sure you have the latest version of the Eventbrite app downloaded on your device and then log in with your Eventbrite email or using one of the available sign-in options. Once logged in, if you manage more than one organization, you first select your organization and then select your device. You can switch between organizations and events from the three dots at the top left. On the dashboard, anybody with permissions is able to view real-time sales and check-in data over time and by ticket type. You can adjust these settings on your Eventbrite Organizer app to meet your needs. For iOS users, tap the three-dot icon and select Settings. For Android users, tap the menu in the top left and select Event Settings. First, we recommend you name your device. This will help with reporting to see which device sold which tickets. If you plan to print tickets as you sell them, make sure your printer is set up here. You can turn on and off the option to collect attendee information during checkout. Next, you want to select your payment methods, cash, check, credit card, etc. And lastly, confirm your delivery method. You may be set up to print tickets, or you can select e-tickets, will call, or skip delivery altogether. To start selling tickets, tap the Sell tab. Here you will see a full list of all ticket types that are available for sales on the app. Tap the plus icon next to a ticket type to add a quantity to the cart. When the cart opens, use the plus or minus button to increase or decrease selected amounts. Or type in the amount using the keypad below and tap Done to add them to the cart. Repeat the process for any additional ticket types that need to be added to the order. At the top of the Sell tab, you'll see the order's total cost according to the tickets currently in the cart. Tap the Taxes and Fees button below the order total to review a breakdown of the order's taxes and fees. Keep in mind you cannot make a change to these settings in your event within the Eventbrite Organizer app. For that, sign in to your account or desktop. Once you've added all tickets to the cart, you can use the More Actions button to review all items in the cart. You can apply a promotional code to the order, add the customer's name and email as well as other required information to the order, or make an order free of charge by selecting Comp, short for complimentary. Once you're ready to check out, you will either tap Payment Method or tap Pay to view the Payment Method options. If they are paying with cash, you will see Cash Tendered page. This will show you the order total and then tap Place Order. If they're paying with credit card, you will see the order total with instructions to insert, swipe, or tap using a compatible card reader, which will automatically begin to process the order. Alternatively, you can enter the credit card information and tap Place Order. You will see an order completed page with options to email, print, or check in and tap Done to go back to the selling page. And that's it. For more help planning your next event with Eventbrite, see our Help Center blog or YouTube channel.